One witness is having a hard time grappling with a completely random shooting at a gas station in the Southwest Valley that left one man dead. That eyewitness tells us he felt helpless as he tried to save the victim. He spoke exclusively with our Victoria Saha. She joins us in the studio tonight with more. Victoria. This witness made it clear to me he does not want to be identified to glorify his actions because he believes he was just being a human being that wanted to help. He is bothered by the fact that the victim, 35-year-old Curtis Abraham, didn't make it. This man works the graveyard shift at Sporting Life Bar. It's right next to the gas station on Jones and Rainbow where the alleged shooter, 22-year-old Jesus Uribe, walked into the parking lot just after midnight Thursday wearing a bulletproof vest. Police say he shot at an empty car, then walked over to Curtis Abraham's car and shot him to death. Next, he went inside the gas station and started shooting at customers as they ran for their lives. There was a gentleman that was at the gas station that ran into the bar saying that uh, someone was shooting at the gas station. He ran over to help despite not knowing if the shooter was still around. He tells me at first he wanted to make sure his friends at the gas station were okay. Chip sodas and things scattered all over the place. He then came across Curtis Abraham's car. I've seen him leaning, sitting back in the vehicle, leaning back in the car. The, the car was still on, the music was loud. He says he immediately took off his shirt and started applying pressure to Abraham's gunshot wounds. I was just trying to keep him awake, keep him conscious, um, tell him stay with me, stay with me. The ambulance is on his way. I can hear the ambulance. Abraham was pronounced dead at the hospital, but this man wants his family to know he did his best to save him. I apologize that I, that I myself wasn't able to do more, but I did what I hope that any human would have done for any of us. Police say this was a completely random shooting. Uribe was arrested after more than a 12 hour manhunt. The man tells me the situation could have been a lot worse if Uribe walked into the bar that night because it was packed. As for Uribe, he refused to face the judge yesterday. He faces multiple charges, including murder and three counts of attempted murder. Sasha.